Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though, heist man? The foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. We back at it once again. Pop the balloon, episode twenty, I think it is, man. We're gonna get right into it, man. Y'all know how we do, man. We judge people over here. That's what it's all about, judging people. Y'all can judge me too. I'm gonna judge y'all. Let's get into it, man. We'll see what he's talking about today on Pop the Balloon or Find Love. Let's see what they got. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga funny already. Put this shit down for me. Oh, we got a little leather on today. See you. These nigga pants. Oh, we finna have some fun with these niggas today. They got a cowboy. They got a cowboy. With a nose set, but them pants nasty. Them pants ugly, though. You got the good waves though. I ain't wearing no skater boy shoes. A little leather dress, alright. Put a little waist trainer on, she be alright. This nigga finna play golf. No, he smoke. Oh lord. You came out the house with them pants on, man. You like a bad bitch with them pants on, my nigga. This nigga. Oh my god. We finna get into it, man. No offense, but if you still think stocks, real estate, or crypto are the best passive you see her investments in today's economy, I got a commercial. I'm What's sorry, her head? Nasty. you got it wrong. She look like David Hello, Ruffin. everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's your host, Arlette, <coughs> and we're back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Arlette. Find Love, and we've got some single men lined up. Make some noise, guys. Yeah, okay, we see. We see okay. these females. <laughs> so we are going to be bringing out some single women once they come around this corner one by one. If you're feeling her, you know, outfits on point, makeup on fleek, whatever it is, do not pop your balloon. However, if there's anything, like maybe she says something that's a red flag to you or you just cannot see yourself dating her go ahead and pop that balloon and I'll go over to a few of you see why you ended up popping we ready okay all right so with that being said let's go ahead and bring out our first single yeah, lady like we'll see this we'll see this hello welcome in okay. what's your name my name is Nucci hey Nucci how old are you I'm 25 I'll be 26 soon okay and uh, what do you do I am an artist as well as a behavioral health tech, and I'm also a stripper. Gotta see this. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, what kind of artist are you? I rap. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, She's any you should be looking out for anything soon? Yes, actually, I dropped a song yesterday, so go ahead and check that out, you guys. Okay. Showgirl Nucci on YouTube and Instagram. All right. Well, make okay. sure to check that out. <laughs> now, what they plug into you for fun? Look, they like yeah. Um, I like to write music. Uh, I love movies. Like I really like. I grew up watching movies. Who, like my grandma who, why y'all popping into balloons movies. on her already? Like, we would pay for one, go see another one. We'd okay. pay for it. So, yeah. <laughs> love movies. Um, I love to hike. I like to work out as well. Um, anybody that hike. knows me knows that when I was like heavily into my working out like regimen, mm -hmm. I was working out like five, six days a week. I got really small, clumped up a little bit, but I like mm -hmm. myself both sizes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, I know my just security with my screen. Yourself, I, I need. I may gotta move um, my screen because y'all missing out. A guy that has like goals um, and actually like doing something to achieve them. Shut up. Okay. Now, what are some deal breakers? Ooh, deal breakers. Um, a guy like if you what's she on here before? Me, if you've been around me, humbly, I do get attention. So like, if you know that about me and you want to pursue me, mm -hmm. then that's definitely something. Like, if you tend to get insecure about the attention that I get. That's something that would make me like kind of stray away from you. Mm, okay. And hey, keep that All shit right. vice versa so we did then. Get, um, a couple of pop balloons. Let's yeah, go we'll over there and see what they do. Okay. All right, let's start with your name and age. Uh, I'm Trey, I'm 25. And Trey, yeah. what do you do? Uh, I'm a development project manager at a tech company. Okay. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, just a profession. Stripper. That's not my preference. Nothing wrong with you. No, just honestly, I thought it was going to be more people that would pop. So <laughs> I understand. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's it. Hi, all right. Now, hey, man, is uh, someone that's your type? Um, 
you're dressed very well, great smile, just um, that necklace. We're nasty. going off everyday life. I probably wouldn't. Why they got on the same pants beside each other? Nothing against you. You're plaid right. pants. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. That's the now, thing. Is there something there that's making you say you wouldn't entertain him? Um. Wow, look at this dude beside him. I think I just. <laughs> I think okay. I just like a more like brolicky guy, like a little oh, bit okay. more like like mm, like you know. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're not, that, saying, on her, no, not that, but just, just for me, I'm a big girl, so. I understand. Yeah. Let's go. All right, cool. Thank you. Let's go down over here. Your name and age? Uh, yeah, my name is Key. I'm 28. And Key, what do you do? Uh, I own a trucking business. Okay, very cool. Now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, just a profession, same thing. Uh, very pretty girl. Thank just you. Profession, yeah. That's I'm it. sweating. It's hot. <laughs> you're good. Okay, and now is Key someone that's your type? Love your complexion. Like, that was definitely the first thing that caught my eye when I walked out here. Appreciate um, it. Love the waves as well. Um, I probably would you. man in the back. He about to pop. Me, so, yeah. Mm. Okay. Pop, nigga. Cool. cool, cool. Thank you. All right. He want to so pop. do have quite a few balloons the left had on back there. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these guys a question, help you narrow it down. Motherfucker, okay. stack, um, bro. Damn, I didn't really think about this. Oh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I she kind of built kind of funny children. though. You do? It look nice like from a distance. You? Like you get yeah. close okay. up on it. Like, so let's head on over here. Let's start with your name and age. Mm-hmm. My name is John. I'm 31. I'm still up for debate. John, what do you do? Uh, I'm an aerial space tech and I uh, do content. So okay. an aerial so space pop on tech you for the kids. Um, you fly drones, why nigga. Why did you balloon unpop for her though? Prior to that, I mean, I'm not really shallow. You feel me? I like to get to know the person, so I was just trying to fill her up. Okay. Got it, got it. Now, them I know pants nasty, breaker, man. I wouldn't wear them pants. I'll wear them as um, shorts. I wouldn't wear them as pants. You're so cute. Like, let me just say that. You're, like, really cute. But, like, if I'm going to be with somebody, I need somebody that's, like, fine to me. Like, you're yeah. fine to, to a lot of girls, I'm sure. But yeah. to me, like, very cute. I love your dreads. I like the way you're dressed. Yeah. I'm so going to say you ain't cute enough. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're a nigga that's fine. So, everyone else has no kids. For you? Any other questions? Um, For you? <laughs> this is dumb, but like I do want to know your guys' signs. Okay. She dumb. Look, exactly, <laughs> man. Pop them blue like niggas. Okay, I wasn't so... going to pop you based off your sign. I just want to know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start here with your name and age. Uh, my name is Dante. I'm 25. Dante, oh, yeah. He's stupid. I'm um, a famous adult uh, entertainer and uh, also uh, a uh, uh, YouTuber uh, uh, as well. Okay. YouTuber. So, so, to answer so, a question, so. what's your sign? I'm a Sagittarius. Okay. I like Sag. Yeah. Oh, that nigga might be kind of sweet. Come back. Name and age. Name Justin. And twenty six. You, you, you and might get a cowgirl. And I own a online business. So yeah. You kind of zesty okay. down there. What's your mm-hmm. Whatever. I'm Do your cancer. thing, cuz. Do your okay. thing. Okay. I like cancer. You guys are very like emotionally okay. intelligent and like just like intuitive when it comes to emotions. Shut up. I hate sure. people talking about zodiac okay. signs. And you guys but... like really make people feel comfortable. Like no sign I feel like mm-hmm. is better at doing that than a cancer. So yeah, that's how it is. For I sure. like that. Yeah, little Nas X down there. Name that's who he is. Chris, twenty seven. And Chris, what do you do? I got a couple jobs. Uh I'm a realtor first. Mm. And then I work at a community center with kids and then I work at two non profits. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. What's your sign? Scorpio. I have a love hate <laughs> relationship with you guys. Like, I love you guys, but you guys are toxic. Well, a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, at least you know. <laughs> Toy Craig. This is how I get paid a full time income working from home using Apple's new AI platform. Nah. Thank you. And we did get a pop. Let's head on back this way. Home. Your name and age? My name's Ryan. I'm 26. And Ryan, what do you do? I own uh, two different media companies. So Everybody you owns didn't some up companies. When she asked, "What's your sign? What's up?" I own this channel. Um, yeah, it's just and my the wife and kids. I own them. I just never got into that. That nigga strings like fat as hell. That. Okay, mm-hmm. I understand. Like a lot of guys are like that, so I don't fault you for that. All good. <laughs> Look at that cowboy right. beside him. So oh my god! Her asking about That's signs. Back mountain over there. Unpopped. Why so? I kind of wanted to hear her out. The profession thing. Did kind of take me he got to a little list. loop, but I was I was still open. Tell like Shannon Sharp. Um, yeah. So and, the and cowboy. She's thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. So oh, I was I mean, gonna say peanut butter. I like that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I was like, no, we can. Uh, I just want to hear what she had to say. Okay. Got it. Got mm-hmm. it. Now, is Ryan someone that's your type? No, because you're just a smidgen too light skin for me. I know I'm light skin as well, but oh shit. I like them a little bit brown to dark skin. 
Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. Let's go over here. Why agenda popping? Yeah, I, sh I'm, I think I'm light skinned. I don't know. Like, you feel You're me? You're not as light as him. Light, light. <laughs> you should have gave yourself a chance. Hey, I mean, literally, I didn't know. You should have been clear on me. <laughs> But it's all good. Well, I did say brown to light skin. To brown me, light. you're, I mean, you are kind of like on the cusp of light. Yeah, yeah. But you are, to me, you have a little bit more melanin. Okay, you for know. sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Damn. I okay. think she was on here before. So, did you want that balloon back or something? Right. Nah. Why you biting your lip like that? Yeah. Yeah, that balloon back. <laughs> like, talking about, yeah. yeah come on. Come on. That nigga, like, yes, fuck sir. it. I guess I miss with you. I rock with you. Okay, we'll be back for you then. He ended up popping as well. What's going on? Same thing, you know. I'm light skin, as everybody can see. She said brown skin to dark skin. Maybe I should have specified like like light bright, right? Type shit. Okay, yeah. okay. There's nothing wrong with light brights at all. Like all yeah, complexions yeah. are beautiful. It's just a preference. She born. Yeah, no, I feel yeah. You. But you, yeah, no, you're you, damn near the same color. Yeah, I'm, I just, I'm, I've been light skin my whole life. <laughs> yeah, I'm only dark as we in Arizona right now. Okay. Right. So, do you want him to get, or I don't know. I mean, it's up to him. It's up to you. You want the balloon back or no? Shit. I think I'm going to just pass. I just want to see what else okay. is out there. No, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, so is he someone, someone that you take? Um, I love the way you're dressed. I do not. Very handsome. I probably wouldn't, in the real world, entertain. Okay. Type shit. Okay. Type so shit. Prior to that shit the whole type shit. Why'd you have to roll up some dope? Oh, she cold. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, my boy's gone. Yeah, but she cold. Oh, I think it's a damn thunderstorm, man. My light just blinked. <laughs> and we did get a pop down here. <laughs> All right, this. your name and age? How you doing? My name is Nazi. Okay. I'm 25. And Nazi, what are you? What's Truffle name? monkey. Nazi. Nazi. Try this. Nazi? Yeah. Okay. Ethiopian. Look at him. What is he? Okay. African? Is he? What do you do? Ethiopian I'm a engineer for a general contractor full time and then do a little freelance estimating on the side. Yeah, okay. Ethiopian or something. So why'd you end up popping your balloon? Well first I'm an I'm an Aries. That, that, um, I am yeah, the captain now. That's what he looked like. Sign, I feel like they're making a lot of assumptions about the sign. To be honest, I don't believe in that at all. Right. Yeah. I don't believe in that shit. Um, but you cool though, you know, you're pretty and Thank you know, you. I think we'd be good friends, but yeah, I think so too. <laughs> and honestly, let me just elaborate on like the zodiac question. Like, I would never cancel somebody because of their zodiac sign. Like, that's dumb. But like, I do. Like, I'm a Virgo, so like a lot of the things that they say about Virgos is very true for me personally. So like, I just like it gives me kind of like a little insight of what your personality could look like. But sure. obviously, I would give you the chance to like you know indulge me. Damn, in blowing. Try this cool. truffle monkey. Okay, thank you. Let's head on back. Oh, okay, so we do have two it. guys like left. It. I'm gonna go ahead and see if you guys have any questions. Go ahead and get the damn cowboy with the list. Okay, let's start here. Uh, what is submission to you? Submission. What is being a submissive woman? Submissive is like allowing my man to lead. So like, um, he is not dominant like, in no relationship. Let's say we want to buy a house or something, yeah. and I want to live tell. in one area, but you tell me that you want to live in this area for this, that, and this reason. I'm gonna listen to you, and if I feel like okay, it's my not man is proving to me that he can lead, I think he knows <laughs> what he's talking about. If we move here, it might not be the best idea, so I'm gonna go with what my man says. What do you mean, prove to you? Um, just like letting me know that you have like, you know what you're doing, basically. Just like financially, spiritually, mentally, with your goals. If you say that you have goals and you haven't achieved any of them. Then why would I let you lead anything Boring. that has to do with me? Come on, bitch. So just proving it that way. Okay. Any questions here? What city you stay? I mean, where you stay? Like I stay in Phoenix. Stay in Phoenix. Yes, sir. Or I stay in Cali, so I don't know. Ooh. Long distance. Long distance. I oh, got that one. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So long this is a no for you. No, I, okay. I can't do that. Okay, so you did have him get his balloon back. Is he someone that's your type? He's handsome, yeah. I would I would entertain him. Oh, entertain me? Hold on. I would. <laughs> Hold on. I would, uh, did I say something bad? You said entertain. Yeah. yeah. Entertain the idea. This part of balloon, this part of balloon of fine love. This ain't part of the balloon like of entertain. Me, right? I feel you. Yeah. Okay. I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back this way. Why do we end up popping? Just I had to think about what she was saying about the submission. So before I got famous, before I had anything, I had my ex of uh, three years famous. trying to marry and stuff like that. But she didn't believe in the hustle. She didn't believe what I was doing and stuff like that. I didn't have the results. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying with that? And she didn't believe in what 
was happening, and I told her what exactly was going to happen. Oh, does he got to be young? Today and stuff like that. He so had a woman like, okay, before, I so and trust that. Oh, I might not have it in five years. I might have it in two years. It might happen in six years. You feel me? But like you thinking that that's a goofball uh, ass nigga. You don't have the though. results yet. You know, a lot of people don't have results yet. You feel me? Type shit. Don't he, come he, overnight. He's a specific type for year. specific people. Three. You gotta stick and ride. If you ain't, and if you're not gonna do that. All right. Beat it, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that nigga, that's the noise Not he made. Like mm-hmm. oh all right, God. well, Nucci, that is all the balloons popped. But yeah. we do thank you so much for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for he her, guys. He made a dick in his you life guys. before. I don't care what nobody said. Come on, man. Got a new game every damn okay, season. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Let's see this next oh, chick. Let's see hello, this. Hello, welcome right. in. Let's see, let's see. What's your name? Tosh. Tosh, how old are you? I'm 25. And what do you do? I'm a registered nurse. Okay, very nice. Sure uh, what are you do for fun? Um, I love to travel. I really love Pilates. I love trying like yoga classes, working out, spending time with friends and family. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, first, you have to have a relationship with God. You have Pop. to be family oriented. You have to have great communication skills. Um, you have to be romantic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and now, what are some of your deal breakers? Um, don't have a relationship with God. Um, the kids, it depends. It depends. It depends. Yeah. Um, you're not romantic. You can't communicate. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So, we did get a pop balloon. Okay. It's gone down over there. See what's going on. <laughs> All right, your name and age. How you doing? My name is Nati. I'm 25 years old. Nati, why did you end up popping your balloon? First off, you're very pretty. And uh, all my family's in healthcare, too, so I like the chair registered nurse. That's very cool. Um, you look like he right worked at the Arab like, store really, uh, and had a baby by a black girl. Christian or and that's anything religious. The child. Part, um, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. But, I mean, you're cool, though. I like you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> now, is Nati someone that's your type? I would, I would say he's very handsome, so, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, we do still have quite a few balloons left unpopped. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm going to switch it up. Yeah. I'm going to hand you a pick, and I'm going to have you pop two balloons based off of what you're seeing so far, who may not really be your type, outfit, whatever it is. I'm going to go ahead and hand that over to you. Outfit. Okay. And go ahead and pop those two. Um, uh, Okay, mm-hmm. and one more. Um. They look alike. Shit. Okay, let's start well, over. Sound like dark skin right niggas. I see. Name and age. Uh, Dante, uh, twenty-five. And Dante, why Dante did you have the balloon unpopped? Uh, you melanated, bro. Chocolate man. Hey, haven't seen anyone like that in Arizona in a long time. So, okay. hey, looks smooth. You feel me? <laughs> Got it. Shout so out to the melanated balloon? queens um, out here. They just seem very flashy, like. Pearson, yeah, it's very flashy. I don't like flashy men. I think he's a good kid, man. Oh, really? he's really subtle. Ooh. So that means you are flashy, then. Well, he probably is. You know what okay. I'm saying? <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? If you see my garage, if you, you probably gonna call me flashy. So like, cool, like it is what it is. Okay. Right. You're a rich so kid. Pop one more. Let's head down. Over That's what here. it is. Okay, your name and age. John, I'm 31. John, why did you have John, your balloon unpopped? John, I'm 31. She's fine. You feel me? I love a chocolate woman, so I see you blushing, but yeah. That's why I had my uh, um, balloon unpopped. Okay, got it. And now you too meek. Popping his? Um, I you don't like dreads. That's why. That's why. I like You too meek, cut, cuz. Nice cut. You gotta stand out. But yeah, that's the only reason. I thought she was gonna be with the uh, Sorry. J- Jamaican type. Look. You feel me? You just got the safari going. <laughs> you feel me? But I mean, I feel you. you. I feel you. Nah, you, go, you had to you. get some hood rats, my nigga. <laughs> oh, all right. Name you got to get some hood rest. 27. Okay. Chris, why did you end up popping your balloon? Because you don't like dreads. And I used to have dreads. And when it's summer, I'm going to put put them back in. So mm-hmm. she going to hate me. <laughs> I mean, I like them pull back. You're nah, bitch, shut up. Uh, shut up. Yeah. But you're very pretty, though. Thank real, you. Real. Let me Thank see. You, you really yeah, ain't that someone pretty. Someone that's your type? Um, she got kind of elongated know. head. You can see. Him. Okay. With a wig yeah. at, was coming up at the yeah. top. I'm, I'm from the right, right. analyze yeah. this that. bitch now. <laughs> All right. You can so see where that damn poof at the top. I can Go see ahead that. and ask these guys a Got question. Got a lot of down. Okay. That's some good so skin. I give it that. What do you guys like to do for fun? Okay. That's corny. Start here with your name and age. 
My name's Ryan. I'm 26. Ryan, what would you like to do for fun? I like to smoke, smoke trees, stay active. So I like going on hikes. I like going, like going on hikes. I think I'm very much a morning person. So less about nightlife activities and more about anything we can do early in the day. Okay. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Get your ass in the bed, Sinbad. You want to yeah. go to sleep? Okay. Name and age. My name's Justin, and uh, my name age is 26. Okay, and now, uh, Justin, what do you like to do for fun? I like to go skating. This the young nigga crew right here. They're like 25, 26. And, you know, I love to play basketball, too. You know, so. Nigga who? Nigga who? And I love to eat different food places and everything, too. So. Okay. All right. Let's go on over here. Your name is? I'm Trey, 25 years old. Cute. Trey, what do you like to do for fun? Ish. Uh, I I love friends and family. I'm a very big family oriented person, whether it's chosen family or biological family. I spend a lot of times with my pastors, my friends. I have some friends that live in other states, so I'll get on the game with them from time to time. But that's pastor. really it. I'm a really relaxed person. But you cool I love with your adventure. pastor? Like, you got a pastor? I, I'm in a part of my life where I'm doing stuff that I enjoy. Like I just went skydiving. I'm doing this. I'm putting myself out there trying to do stuff that I enjoy. Learn more about myself. Okay. In the furniture oh, okay. business, okay. things move fast. GC interested. That nigga told her. Uh, <laughs> he's kind of kicking with the past. And she okay uh, him. 28. Key, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, so for fun, I like to, yeah, I'm a laid back guy, real chill, simple. Uh, just hang out with friends, catch a sports game here and there. Uh, you know, take a walk in the park, something, you know. Catch Let's a movie. I'm, I'm low maintenance, I don't really do too much, so. That's really it. All right. <laughs> okay. So based off of all this information, I hate that nigga heard, pants, man. I'm too different have pants. You pop one balloon. This is like his jeans and khaki Next at the top. Question. Next round. <laughs> Next round. Pop some balloon in this. Uh. Let me it off, man. I'm gonna hear this pimping. Okay. Pop I don't know, man. All right. Why did oh. I end up popping in? Um, I just like the rest of their answers better. I mean, nothing you said is wrong. Like, I like to work out, too, and do the same things, but I just like their answers better. Cool. Yeah. So, did he Ryan, say why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? I mean, she seems really mature, and uh, I know you said you're a nurse, right? Yes. That's a hard mm-hmm. thing to get into and takes a lot of discipline, and, like, so just great person, like, all around, like, 360. Thank you. Great person. Right. Sound like them Tiger Woods. We do Woods. have two guys left. Oh, three. He was hiding his balloon. <laughs> we do have three guys left. Go ahead and ask them another question. Um, where do you guys see yourself in five years? Okay. She asking all the cliches. Where do you see yourself in five years? Cookie cutter. Investments, real estate. Questions. You know, get into that. You know. Let's and, do for uh, fun. Honestly, I want to do some traveling too. I want to do a little traveling and everything. So, yeah, that's the main thing right there in progressing in business. You know, so. Okay. okay, let's go on over here. All right, and what was your question again? Um, where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, in five years, I see myself building. I think five years, it's it's good to have an idea of what you mm-hmm. want to do. I'd like to be I have a higher paying job. She Reggie, I have wouldn't a, even approach have a home at all. Just an apartment. I'd like to be building with my family. <clears throat> but I think the the best thing about looking forward is like having she ain't got no real big ass, just like no a purpose and a, and a knack to go forward, mm-hmm. like. If you asked me five years ago where I saw myself in five years, I wouldn't say here. I'm so much farther than I was in a different area, like in a different direction. And so I just see myself moving forward. Okay. Okay. okay where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, in the next five years, hopefully, uh, you know, I plan to keep growing my business, uh, be a homeowner, marry, at least have, you know, maybe one kid by then. Uh, yeah, but I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop. It's nothing, nothing against you. I mean, you're a beautiful girl. It's just uh, you seem very, like, you know, soft-spoken, real chill, laid back. I am too, so I need someone to kind of like on the opposite spectrum of that, you know. Okay. That's really it. Yeah, okay. I am. I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so okay. that, that's, that's it. But yeah. Okay. Got it. All right. But she was someone that is your type. Yeah, she she's very pretty. Uh, you know, I probably I she look like him. They look alike. Her. Look at them. Okay. okay. Now is he someone that's your type? Yeah, I think so. But you look like me. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, she look like him. <laughs> Thank you. Right. They're like brothers and okay. sisters. Okay. So we've got our two guys left. Guys, yeah, she any look like him too. For a girl. She like Eric Darkson dude on the on the cast. What's your love language? Oh God, um, that's so corny. She my love fucking. language is words of affirmation. Okay. Yeah. That's so no, whack, man. Y'all keep saying. I didn't see the show that's like love language. Yes. It's the twentieth episode. Yes. Everybody say the yes. same thing. All right. What? Let's switch it to him. Love What's language, yours? affirmation. See, I'm a real affectionate man. You feel me? So I'm big on like I don't know where that goes into like affection. Uh, what? 
Like, physical. Uh, physical, yeah. yeah see, goddamn, I knew that. You, you see? Know, it's actually reason because, like, I got two loving parents at home. You feel me? Mom and dad, that's what that's just what I'm used to seeing. You know, right, right. Okay, I understand. Got a good relationship with each other. So, you know, that's why I picked up on it. You know, okay. so that's what I like. Okay. Yeah. Any questions down here? Uh, am I answering her question? Or, no, no, uh, you have a question for her. Oh, what's your what's your purpose in life? Do you know what you're here to do? Not just be an RM, but what He's too articulate to for us. Um, She's not picking him. She I don't care what this nigga's saying. I'm here to help people in some way. That's why I became a nurse. But I also have an upcoming business. Um, I invent children's toys. So dolls. Um, hmm. Growing up, I never really seen many dolls that look like me. So I've started a business. Everybody got black dolls, dolls now, dolls baby. Like me. So, yeah. Come out with something else. Yep. Mm. All right. Good for me. Okay. <laughs> Come out with cabinets. All right. It is time to pop. Every time you build a house, you need a cabinet. Whose balloon are we popping? Coming out with some niche uh, type shit. Okay. That's what I tell you, she getting rid of him. <laughs> All right. Too what are we his? Um, he won me over with that. How he was raised in a household with two parents, and he yeah. just grew up seeing like love, and that's really that nigga said that. Too. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's yeah. why. But you're very handsome, Thank you. and I'm sure any woman will be lucky to have you. But yep, that's the reason. Okay, so why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Uh, she hit the necessities, and you she got a dude wipe down there, wipe his neck. You gorgeous, shit. which is Thank a necessity for me. You love God, which is number two on that list. You're open and honest. Gosh, it comes first. Transparent, and that's phenomenal. And you have family values, so that's fantastic. So I yeah. look, I was ready. Thank you. Okay. Thank he you. He was ready. He was ready. <laughs> All right. He missing out, man. Bring you on up. Bring you on up. Come on up. All right, guys. Any final questions? Nope. I don't have any more questions. You ain't got no questions? Nope. Let me see. I ain't got no questions over here. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. So is it a yes for you for her? It's a yes. And is it a yes for you for yeah. him? We got a man. Let me take this mic. You guys can go on up. <laughs> Woo! Make some noise for them, All right, y'all. Come on, get, get on to the next one. On to the next. On, on to the. G. What is y'all selling and now? We're back. Y'all peddling. The team is looking down the barrel of a four fifty. Peddling stuff on my. Channel. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. All right, we'll see this next one. We'll see what she looking with. What she looking like? Hello, welcome in. Okay. What's your name? I'm Simone. Simone, how old are you? I'm 24. And what do you do? She's goddamn lie. I'm a full time content creator, lifestyle and beauty content, and then I'm currently in my master's program at Pepperdine uh, for clinical psychology. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> what are some things like to do for fun? Mm. Um, so I am a poetess. I'm a writer, a podcast host. Um, I just love everything creative, arts, everything like that. Cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, I ain't nobody popping. Higher Yo, education level, wisdom, um, communication, she, she legs on uh, emotional regulation. Mm -hmm. um, those are that's, that's it right there. That's vital. Okay, yeah. got it. Your makeup. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> and now, what are some of the deal breakers? Like, we need to see her face for real. Um, because she got the legs for days. I would say lack of like. Just not like being able to like fully like feel and communicate. Mm. I think that's a disruption. She ain't no deal, uh, man that doesn't that uh, gets like weary about being out with me and understanding that I get attention and that I get looks and I don't want no man like being angry at me about that. Mm. Nah, because uh, like he's damn, my man. Like, act accordingly. We look, we look good together, type of shit, you know. Okay. Um, and then like. Somebody who's just like stupid. Sorry, I just can't do if that. If you notice the motherfuckers I'm looking sorry. at you, okay. you, you doing the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. You worried about preference. it. Like, I get a lot of <laughs> looks. Okay. We'll do that. You, you worried yeah, about right. that type so shit? So we don't have any pop balloons. You know how you look, okay. bitch? What's going to happen is I'm actually switching on over to you. Oh, I'm going to okay. give you a pick, and I'm going to have you pop two balloons based off of what you're seeing so far. Whoever may not really be your type, whatever it is. So okay. let me give you that, and go ahead and pop those two. These are Okay. Okay, oh. one more. Okay, let's oh. start right on over here. If we can have your name and age. My name is Ryan, I'm 26. Okay. And Ryan, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I just wanted to hear her talk more and hear her out. Okay. Yeah, it was like too soon to decide. What kind of dress you got on? Okay, she yeah, but she's someone tutu. that's physically your type? Yeah. Of course, mm -hmm. look at her. Got it, got it. And now, why did we end up popping his? Well, you know, unfortunately, I wish that I could hear you speak because I feel like you have a great vocabulary and great grammar and mm. can carry yourself well. Um, but from the looks of it, in reality, I just don't do light skins. Oh, okay. Tough. 
<laughs> I mean, he can't change that. It's like, I'm not that's mad at him. I'm like, you can't do nothing mad at that, but it's okay. But that's, yeah, that's it. She sounds stupid so saying this shit. One more down here. Yeah. Your name and age? My name is John. I'm 31. And John, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I mean, she nice, you feel me? Uh, she read my type, you feel me? Uh, I like light-skinned women, so mm -hmm. I'm just trying to see how she was. Got it, got it. And why did we end up popping his? You didn't make eye contact with me once while I was speaking. That's, I respect and I And I like, I love a shy, timid man who's going to let me speak for him because I am will speak for you if you want me to, but for you not to make We're eye contact is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, I'll check. You. Yeah, yeah, you just talk too much. Thank you. All right, let's head back, and let's go ahead and ask these guys a question. Okay, um, what do you do for work? Okay, name, age, what do you do for work? Yes, ma'am. Uh, my name is Dante, I'm 25. Uh, also a famous YouTuber and adult entertainer, and also do bodybuilding. Adult entertainer, you said? Yes, ma'am. Okay. She don't look no goddamn What's 24. Going over here? She's a 34. Your name and age, and what do you do? My name is Chris. I'm 27, and I got a couple jobs. I'm a realtor first, then I work at a community center, and then I work at two nonprofits. Okay, what's the nonprofits about? It's about helping black people. And then I got another one where I'm hey, helping black people. Hey, shit. Okay. They just go with help black people. Shit. Your service. Help <laughs> niggas out. What's up? You the best right. nigga on the cast, Your nigga. Your name and age, and. Pick that for? nigga. You helping uh, black I'm people. I'm Trey, 25. I'm a development project manager at a tech company. This is Darius Miller. Okay, Trey. <laughs> I'm not a nigga to play for the um, name, age, and what do you do? You just play for know, Alabama Nazi, and I play for the Hornets. And I'm a project engineer for a general contractor. It's my full time gig. Um, but I also do a little freelance estimating on the side. And what's your freelance? This nigga look uh, weird. Estimating, so oh, estimating. Oh, this okay. nigga like four different ethnic oh, so you groups. You numbers man. and shit? You know your math? Okay, okay, that's good. <laughs> Ooh, bitch, how you just. Name, age, and what do you do? Right. Do you see that shit? I'll pop <laughs> off that shit too. 28, uh, and I own a trucking business. Okay. So. Yeah, that's it. We get it. Right. I ain't saying she a gold. That's good though. You a business owner. What are you talking about? We gotta pop right here. Why do we end up popping? She need to be the host of big on cussing. MTV oh, yeah, not gonna on the it. beach type shit. That. You know. Yeah, that's okay. Um, <laughs> spring <laughs> break. Oh my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, I Stuff works it's out. Okay. It's okay. So is he someone oh, she that you is. Type? She a personality. No. Okay. Why not? On a scale of one to ten, I say she a seven. No, it's just like no. I love the outfit. I love the outfit. It's cute. Um. Honestly, for me, it's just like the physical appearance. What a seven. She a seven. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so based off of those responses you've heard, hmm, she we did get a pop, so I'm going to have you just pop She would have not put that damn tattoo on it. She could have been a leg model. Okay. <laughs> All right, so why did we end up popping his? Um... You know, I love the work ethic. I love you, you sound smart. You're just um, physically, again, it's just not the vibe. Okay, is there something specific? Just the height. The nigga look like he, he look Indian, right. Pakistani, <laughs> you know, you African American, for her. Ethiopian, so? Mexican. Yeah, she's very pretty. I like the tattoos too. I was noticing those. That's pretty cool. But yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Awesome. She worked okay. on them. I'm right. realizing the tattoos. Can I take that back? Can you put more air in his balloon? <laughs> <laughs> They got a, she, she got a host vibe. Let's head on back. Thank you. She got an MTV um, spring break bash at the beach host vibe. Where okay, so I do have three balloons. She's all right. She's seven. Go ahead and ask these guys another question. She shut the fuck up. She can be an eight. She talk too much. What is your perspective in regards to giddy. gender roles? She cut these niggas off. Of a woman in your relationship. When they talking, she get the answer she want. She, she don't care about the rest of what they got to say. Traditional household. What like? How do you? want your woman to be when it comes to all right that's a perfect question all right yeehaw all right so yeehaw, I'm from Michigan. yeehaw. originally my parents both grew up together and stuff like that you feel me married raised me and stuff like that my morals my traditional by myself i want to have a family i want to move back to the country and stuff like that I have acreage a lake etc cetera, et cetera. that's what i'm building towards right now but for my woman she has to be willing to let me lead and let and follow with suit type shit you feel me i want her to be able to have her own hustle you feel me do whatever she wants to do and stuff like that i want her to have her own dreams aspirations too but obviously, I'm going to be the man of the household and stuff like that. You talking so about I got to be able to make the priority. You feel me? Let her know. Let her know off gate. Right by my side. Are you prepared to do that? Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I've tried to do it before a few times, and a lot of women are not uh, uh, emotionally capable and also communicative. Was this before no. or after the adult entertainment? No, this is during as well okay. and before. Yeah. Okay. You still wearing You still hyped up on that. Thank you. Don't mess with her, dog. Okay. You too good. That's your question. Can you repeat it? <laughs> 
Yeah, I'll repeat it. Uh, it's what is like your perspective and how do you perceive like your relationship and your gender roles when it comes to your woman? I feel like in a perfect world, you know, I want the traditional sense, you know, I'll be able to take care of you. Boom. But you know, shit happens. And so if I'm if I'm down, I need a helping hand, I need you to be there to be able to help me. Okay. That's an example. And our last guy over here, the answer to her question. Uh yeah, to answer her question, I'm more so traditional. Uh but I am like I do agree with teamwork, you know what I'm saying? So like if you if you cooking she I'm looking washing dishes, for, you know what I'm saying? If you washing clothes man, unfold, I'm drying on, whatnot, you don't so, see the play. You know, it's just just, you know, helping each other out. That's it. All right. Good answer, good answer. Okay. All good right, answer. you know what time it is? It is time to I pop do. a balloon. She getting white okay. shirt. Boom. Okay, let's stay right over here. Why'd you end up popping his? Um, Honestly. He ain't as stable as the other two. It was just, A, first off, me having to repeat the question. Um, Second off, it, then it was the answer. So I just, I felt like you could have definitely... If you had a good, a better answer, then I could have like, you know, sidetracked that that first part. But I hate repeating myself. Oh shit, that's cool. Who the fuck? Yeah, yeah. This so is why it. did you have your balloon unpop for her? Is she cute? Girl. Yeah. Okay. You, know, you know. Look at she, her. This bitch looking for another answer. You know, she got a lot going on. She's sitting there waiting. Okay. Oops. Yeah. He just said she's cute. <laughs> I just said me right, she's straight. So man. We have two guys she's left. Guys, but, uh, any questions for our girl here? Gotta humble that bitch. This one down there. We'll be back. <laughs> we'll be well, not have no fucked up I'm toes. scared. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's our question? Uh, yeah. Do you do you have any kids? I do. I have one, and he's two years old. I bet okay. you have some kids. You know, some niggas in here yeah. raw. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. So kids are a deal breaker. Yeah, it's just the kids, uh, especially at that young age. Uh, yeah, it's just not yeah, something I'm, you know. Yeah. That's it. But beautiful girl, though. I Thank definitely, you. I, you know, I would approach you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Now, is he someone that's your I type? I'll let him be. Um, yeah. Actually, yeah. yeah. He is my type. He is my type, yo. Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> I can't change Thank that. you. <laughs> and then our guy over here. Why you say, I love my child. Well, I don't care. To pop in. You Only still because of that, babe. You feel me? Well, mm-hmm. traditional man, I want my woman to come. Pure. I don't care. Pure. But the whole societal thing with the <laughs> bodies and shit like that, you feel me? That I really don't give a fuck about type shit. See this bitch toe. Like having it's... to start with another person's child and shit and the uh, things that come with it and stuff like that, you feel me? I want to start my own family from scratch. Yeah. I had like biscuits, nigga. It's a country nigga. My brother's sister. What is bitch from scratch? Together. And you know what I'm saying? It's just, I have that. I have Homemade that. Homemade buttermilk I bitch. This we want. I wish, but. Can't change shit sometimes. Gotta get the flower. And I get that. Um, especially with you growing up in a two parent household, I completely understand that because bleeding. that is a very valid foundation and principle on how you look like on relationships. Lars. I grew up in a single mom household, Butter. so I completely understand. I can make from. some homemade biscuits, that. man. So I ain't did it in a while. That's good that you know that by yourself. I love that you have your boundaries. I appreciate it. Heist yeah. man cool. biscuits coming Thank soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, cool. Well, unfortunately, that is all. Get out of here. Get out of here. Thank you for coming on. Let's give it up for her, guys. <laughs> Let's take this mic. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I like how they humble that bitch. She's like, oh, you got a key. I got one. Bow, bow. Nigga, just busting on her. Like, yeah, you thought somebody was doing cool. All right. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. We'll find you an athlete to think you something, you know, because you light skin. Hello, welcome this. in. What's your name? My name is Daniela. Daniela, mm-hmm. how old are you? I'm 23. And what do you do? Um, I'm a medical assistant in dermatology. You ain't 23 holding your side so, like um, that. Things I like to do for fun. Um, for fun, I like to play with my dog. Um, sometimes I go to the gym. That's an I like old to woman play pose. Tennis. Um, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are some what is in the milk? Everybody 23 and um, 24. And- I like a man who loves animals. <laughs> um, very empathetic. Always nice to the waiter, waitress. Mm. Um, oh. This nigga. Um, <laughs> you ain't him. He's not nice to them. He's not nice to the waitress. <laughs> <laughs> Why she hold herself like um, that? Why does, yeah, just overall. I don't know, like, his dress really could have been better. People. Okay. Yeah. Now, what are some deal breakers? Um, deal breakers... Probably, I feel bad, but probably kids, having kids. Um, yeah, that's the I only think one. She I a, think she a gy- okay. not a gypsy, right. but a so flower child. Pop balloons. Let's go ahead and okay. head on over Peace, there. See why they ended up popping. Okay. This is probably her first time All wearing right, a dress, name, right? Age. My name is John. I'm 31. Okay. John, why did we end up popping our balloon? I popped my balloon because I really don't like animals like that. Uh, oh, okay. 
That's okay. People, I be seeing people kiss their dogs in the mouth and stuff like that. Like she I, I'm not that type of guy. So yeah. And then you mention kids, you feel me? And I do got two shorties, so okay. it was a pop regardless. So, but yeah. you fine though, so I will approach. That's you. okay. She's yeah, right. Thank it. you. Now is John someone that's your type? Her fucking voice is annoying. Um, I don't really have a type to be honest. Okay. I would. I'm open to. That's what I'm saying. A lot of, like a lot of guys. So. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Love, yeah. man. <laughs> Thank you, John. All right, let's head on. Bet she got a girlfriend too. So we do still have quite a few balloons left on pop. She's a free so love type. Gonna switch it on over to you, Hippie. and I'm gonna hand you a pick. Flower child. Thank you. you. And I am going to have you out a good pop soul. Watch. two of these balloons. So okay. I know you say you don't really have a type, but you know you kind of know what you don't like. Yeah, when you yeah. See it, so out of these niggas, you know what you don't two, like, and then I'll see why you ended up popping after. Um, do, 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 do. Mm. I'll do two. <laughs> okay. And then one more. Um, okay, let's start right here. Your name and age? I'm Trey and I'm 25. Okay. Trey, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I uh, just wanted to hear her out, you know. She's you just not, want to hear her out. Oh, man. Cute. So I just wanted to hear her out, hear kind of more about who she is. Okay, got it, got it. So is we end up popping hand. his? Why did we pop his? Um, probably not what I usually go for. I like your eyebrows though, and I do like oh, the pearls. You. I love pearls. Thank you. Um, you wear pearls. Yeah, I think Thanks. that's all. Yeah. Got it. That's what you got. We, we did again. pop one more. Let's mm-hmm. head on back. Your name is. She don't know how to walk in that dress. Dante, okay. And Dante, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I wanted to hear her out. I got to see what I would. I think about it, but I did hear her out. I didn't want to be. Somebody said, yo, put on the okay. dress so so and show your that body. Your that ain't contour that motherfucker right. She got something back there just okay, hidden. So like, she ain't used to being in the sexy like, role. voice is kind of naggy. I ain't gonna lie. It kinda, I didn't like it a little bit type shit. That's all. And then also the like the body type kind of shit. You feel me? But I was trying to like look past a few things. That's all. Okay. I bet she got some body so up under there, man. end up popping his? Come um, so this guy's potential. You don't know. Look, you know. I think the cowboy look is not for me, but it looks good on you. I appreciate you. So... Thank you, baby. Yeah, I think that's all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, I'm not going to ask the remaining from, um, guys a question. Two Broke Girls. What's her name? Okay. Jennifer Coolidge. Um, <laughs> is that okay. Good one. Okay. Um, okay what yeah. is your inner child into? Like, what, what type of things bring out your inner child? I smoke. I'm telling okay. you, man. Start over here with your name and age <laughs> and what type of things bring out your inner child? My name is Ryan. I'm 26. And the things that bring out my inner child, I think it's the same, like, well, like I've always, always been into the same things since I was a kid as, a, as now. So animals, number one, like if I see an, ah. an animal or a dog or something, I'm running over to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> other things that are my inner child, I, I like sci-fi weird. stuff. Come I like on, man, get this nigga bitch, man. Whatnot. If I see that, I get excited. So maybe that. Might answer it. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to our next guy. Your name and age and the answer to your question. Ah, come on, man. Who this? William Defoe? Who this white guy? Halloween Horror Nights. All that is coming up. Chris, 27. And I'll say something that brings up my inner child is probably basketball and anime. A little anime. I love animals too, but I don't think that brings up my inner child though. But (laughs) with basketball too, like, I'm real competitive. And so, like, I'm, I'm really smooth. Like, I like to be chill, but when I get on the basketball court, it's a whole different person. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's go down over here. Your name and age and what brings out your inner child? How you doing? My name is Nati. Hi. I'm 25 years old. Uh, things that bring out my inner child, probably things like board games, you know, competing like that. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of little cousins and nephews and nieces, yeah. so being around them, they bring out Is my that a housekeeping shirt he got on? I haven't seen that oh, shit at the hotel like before, it. man. Name and age and what brings out your inner child? Yeah, my name is Key. I'm 28. Uh, that's a tough question, but I'd probably say like the holiday season, like Thanksgiving, mm. Christmas, uh, just you know everybody off work, people you know family coming to town, uh, spending time together, whatnot. Like it's, you know, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. that's a good one. Yeah. To have back. Let's head on back. Okay. All right, let's see, let's All see. Come on, right. Pop some balloons. I guess I should ask you hey, too. Boys. What brings out your inner child? <laughs> um, <laughs> for me, probably um, finding like shells at the beach and stuff. Or like, if I find like a little jellyfish or something, they I don't know. Like, little, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but 
I always liked finding stuff at the beach, like a little, even like little hermit crabs. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I am going to hey, have man. you pop one of these she guys' no balloons weirdo. based off of what you've heard, like, seen, whatever. She never would have okay. dressed ever in um, life. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <sighs> <laughs> Day I know it's tough. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Okay, why do we end up popping his? Um, I think the holidays are cool, but I just feel like there's very specific things that like bring out your like who you are like since birth. Okay, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, that's well, not she's, she's still. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's right, so still thinking about the questions. The uh, she's a pretty girl. Uh, very attractive. Uh, I love the hair. I like the curls. Thank you, you know. Thank you. Yeah. Now is he someone that's your type? Apart from that response. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> all right, let's head back. See how she got more contenders than the other girl down there. Go ahead and ask them another it. question. Is she natural? Have, okay, yeah, I have three. Um, yeah. She had a crazy <laughs> voice. <but laughs> it's okay. Um, she don't look like she's trying to get in front what of you. What is... Uh, she's like AOC. Is that a Anakasha what do you Okasha, do in your whatever free that bitch name is, to do the... I don't know AOC. Okay, what are you doing in free time? Some kind of I like to walk, so I walk places frequently i like, I like shopping i, I like shit. yeah thrifting i like antiquing um that's pretty much it that's my main that's her type man i'm telling you mm -hmm. she loves she'd be thrifting and antiquing i ain't gonna try to win pretty simple mm -hmm. uh, uh, i like to play basketball like i said i watch a lot of anime and i smoke a lot of weed okay. straight to it yeah okay. I, mean, I ain't gonna i ain't gonna lie to you okay smoke i appreciate it no i appreciate it let's go over here she was like, yeah. Okay, what are you doing your free time? You fucking up. Well, I'm pretty busy, so I only get so much free time, but whenever I do, I like to try new things. Um, so try new food, go new places. Mm, yeah. Um, nah, new this nigga, he do something about smoking weed, and area. he ain't got no time for it. Places. This nigga over here talking about thrifting. Okay. She gonna go with the thrift nigga who like All going right. walks. Watch, you know man. time it is. Come time on. to Come pop. On. Okay. How many? Uh, just one. Just one? Mm-hmm. Um, Unless you said you got more to pop. You got more to pop? <laughs> um, no, I don't think so. Okay, no, not okay. yet. <laughs> uh, hmm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah, I might. Sorry. Okay. All right, where do we end up popping his? Um, Weed man. I think it's two things. One, not super, like, physically attracted, but also, I think, like, I don't know. I don't even really have a problem with weed and stuff, but I just don't want to smell like it. And I don't want you to smell like it either. I oh, always smell good. Um, <laughs> no, I believe it. I believe it. But yeah, some of it you just can't help. Some of it you can't control. So. Mm. Okay. Get that loud yeah, pack. I've been, I've been doing this for years since I was 12. I know how to control myself. Oh. But not, not to, I know how to not smell like weed is what you <laughs> Okay. Okay. 12. <laughs> so you did have your balloon on pop for her. Why so? When you realize bloating and discomfort don't have to be routine, everything was changes. And she's pretty. She's cute. Not really necessarily what I'll go for, her, but I was trying to hear her out. Right. She, okay, cool. she regular. Okay. Our two remaining guys That's left. That's you build Any a questions? life with. Have some puppies. Sit her down. I'm done over here. She has some childbearing All hips. Right, what's your question? What are your love languages? Are you have, do you have a top three mm. favorites? Yeah, that's a good one. I think mine are probably... Um, Love languages. Mm -hmm. Probably. I like acts of service. And this gotta be a fucking time book. is probably number two, but I think acts of service is like I gotta look I gotta look this yeah. up. We might talk about this yeah. on the show tonight. How about you? What are yours? Acts of service is definitely up there. Yeah. because um, I heard acts of service is also up there. I'm also a physical touch. Honestly, yeah, physical to be honest, touch. I like all five. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so there is like, there is a, a mix of all of them would be great, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's a good answer that I like all those. So. Okay. I gotta read this. I ain't gonna read it for myself. Any questions over here? But I want to know because it's um, like a damn cookie cutter. Everybody say the same who's thing. Who's one of your role oh, models? My love is extra services. Oh, mine's is. It's like, hell, is this a book? Um, my love ain't going to be like none of y'all's. Probably my dad. He's very. Um, it's dumb. There's only he's five. He's like the cook of the house. He's the. He's like everything. Um, My parents have been together forever, but my dad is like. He's a real like acts of service kind of person. Oh, um. God. Excellent. Yeah, I think I take after him too, and he's just—he's very empathetic, even if he doesn't show it all the time. Um, yeah, so definitely my dad. Respect. Okay. Yeah. Who's cool. yours? Um, I have a few. 
But I would say Denzel Washington. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Random as hell. Uh, Denzel's just cool as hell. Like, okay. cool, talented. Him and also, like, Donald Glover or Childish Gambino because he's a multifaceted artist mm-hmm. that I respect as well. So there's two. Cool. Yeah. Give me cool. don't do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're down to two guys. I am going to have you pop one of theirs to see if the other is your match. Mm. Can I ask a question? Just a little question. Okay, go okay, ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, what is your red flag or your toxic trait? So what's the toxic trait they have? Yes, yeah, okay. yeah. That I'm opinionated. So Ain't nothing wrong I have strong opinion. opinions on things. Yeah. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's your toxic trait? My polite. I'm a pretty great guy. <laughs> <laughs> I would say uh, when I break up with someone, I like to break up on bad terms. I don't, I don't like to miss the person at all, so... That's probably my toxic trait. Why do you even bust on them? Other than that, I'm, I'm a pretty good guy. So. Oh. Hmm. Well, no, not probably. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's see why our guy back here ended up popping. Okay. Yeah, let's see. What's going on? Yeah. She keep walking back and forth. Like I was duck. thinking about it, and I just thought they looked like a cute couple together. <laughs> um, I think she, I mean, beautiful, and I think you exemplify femininity, which is a really you, great trait you. that is missing to the, in these day, like this generation. So I don't really have anything negative. I just wasn't feeling like a romantic spark. Uh, that was it. Okay. But you're really, you have so many great qualities that I like to love. Red shirt her, man. Turned her into like something. Feeling it, but. Could have upgraded yeah. her, boy, I'm telling okay. you. Okay, yeah. Now, is he someone that's your type? Um, yeah, She's yeah. Pretty mm-hmm. cool. She's pretty whack. Cool. She's pretty whack, though. Well, let's bring out our last guy up here. Let me have you stand out on this side of me, and I'll okay. have you stand here. All right, him. Girl, any it's, ah, that's the thing she got stuck with. You. Now we can get into that later. I think I'm good. Um, she don't hmm. want him. Um, is that um Black Sam? I can't think of a question. Okay. Yeah, I can't think of a question. Think a but like, I um, might have to pop it though. Okay. I, oh. <laughs> Why did you want to pop? I know he beat you to it, but I know it's okay too. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Like Nipsey um, Hussle, little brother, or big brother. I think he's not. So Super physically my type. Okay. Um, yeah. I do think you're handsome though, and I like your hair. You're really pretty hair. That shit look like spiders having a meeting. All right. Let me have you head back over there. <laughs> take the wrong. Like, right, you thought well, you had all the balloons popped. <laughs> thank you so much for coming on. Let's she go ahead and get another nigga. I that nigga was her speed, man. Thank you. You could have had you one. Little weirdo. She had potential, man. She might have steak and breath, though. You know, sometimes. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single about. lady. Let's see this next monstrosity. We'll see what's coming out. We gotta see Hello, this welcome in. Hi. What's your name? Raja. Raja, how yes. old are you? I'm 24 years old. And what do you do? I'm a law student. Okay, nice. Uh, what are some things I could do for fun? I like to travel. I like to journal. <laughs> I like to meet my dog. That little hairstyle, she and look like, hey. be really adventurous. Yeah. Um, and have fun with my partner. Okay, nice. Um, speaking of partners, what are some things um, you look for in a man? Oh, they have to be honest. Andre 3000. Confident. Um, really secure in themselves. <laughs> um, able to compromise. Okay. And we have shared values and beliefs. Got it, got it. Yes. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? Hell no. Nah. If you don't like dogs, like, my dog is my everything. So if you don't like dogs, let me know that now. Okay. Um, what else? Someone who's a narcissist. Sure, I know, man. Um, and somebody thing. who's not a decision little, maker. She had a big ass head. Their decisions, well, that, their their family, like her friends, shit. somebody on the street. Like, I just need you to be like a man. Stunner girl. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> All right, so we don't have any balloons popped, so I'm actually going to switch it on over to you, and I'm going to hand you a pick. (laughs) There you go. And I am going to have you pop. Mm. Let's go with two balloons. Based off of what you're seeing, you know, who may not really be your type, whatever it is, go ahead and pop those two balloons. Okay. Okay. You can't be walking here, man. Okay. Okay, one more. 
All right, let's start right on over here. Bye bye. Hello, Orange Dress. I'm okay. And now, John, you did have your balloon unpopped. Why so? Look at her face. She's beautiful. I'm not shallow, so I want to hear what she was talking about. You feel me? But she a, she's a, a nice a Lisa little, Leslie. Young woman, so I approach her. Okay, got it. Got and her, now her face look like cinnamon. She, her face the color of yeah, cinnamon. Name's John. Yeah. Well, John, you look really nice. Um, just there wasn't like an initial attraction, I would say, but you seem sweet. So. <laughs> You even. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then we did pop one more. Let's head on over here. Your name. Try to take beautiful How pictures. My name is Nati. I'm 25 years old. Okay. And Nati, why did you have your balloon unpopped? She's very pretty. I like the dress. You know, she arms are nice. She, might, she might pose Thank good, with the right angles and shit. Yo. Okay. Got it. Got it. Now, why do we end up popping his? Well, mm -hmm. I would say the same thing. Like, you mm -hmm. do look nice. Um, really her friendly. Hair, her hair like a Just big sunflower like seed, man. You ever look at sunflower again. seeds? Okay. But the lines in them and stuff like that. It's like a big sunflower yeah. seed on her head. Right, cool. Thank really you. respectable. <laughs> okay. That shit's smooth until their hair moves. You what? ask these guys a question just to help you narrow it down. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Who did her shit get paid? How should the roles and responsibilities be shared in a household? Okay, let's start with your name and age. And how should the roles be shared? Oh, my name is Dante. I'm 25. Uh, the roles in the household, I grew up in a traditional household, so dad works and stuff like that, grinds out, makes sure the home is taken care of, the kids are taken care of and stuff like that. Mom does what she's great at, which is nurturing and stuff like that, you feel me? Taking mm -hmm. care of making sure when I come home, everybody's taking care of my kids and stuff like that, making sure she's good. I got to make sure, hey, if something's not right, yo, let me go take care of that and stuff like that and bring it back home. But I'm very traditional. Very. Extremely, actually. Extremely, actually. In a row with that. Name and age and the answer to her question. My name's Ryan, I'm 26, and I'll echo that. I'm very traditional as well, so as the man, I would be taking the stereotypical man role where being the breadwinner, and if there's something wrong with the lawnmower, that's on me, um, it's not on you. Uh, I'm carrying in all the groceries, you like, like stuff like that. Look at you. And then again, hey, Julio, assuming the, we had a family, the I would is. want my wife to be the one leading the uh, nurturing of the children and uh, educating them and stuff like that and hopefully she can cook as well that would be a great bonus because i cannot cook for shit <laughs> <laughs> all right your name and age and the answer to her question chris 27 and you like Channing crowder i grew up in like a now, single now. mom household so i'm still learning as i go within my all the relationships nigga. i've been through so yeah i usually do take on a more traditional role like take care of you know if she's staying with me take care of the bills taking care of the the manly stuff like you said like all the, like the changing the tire taking out the trash all of that but as far as like monetarily like i grew up seeing my mom do it all you know so i need another woman that can she doesn't have to do it all but she had to be able to do something you know mm -hmm. i do like a little miss independent a little bit that's why I throughout love our her. history ordinary people, people have done extraordinary yeah yeah nigga all right, name and age and attitude. Let's say you come up here saying Mario. I'm Trey, 25. Uh, I've seen both done uh, effectively in terms of both partners working and one partner uh, Look, had to stay at home mom later in my life. So don't play the keyboard really in church. And what is and the you want to find your man? Like, that's between <laughs> the two people to understand. Like you, for example, you're in law That's what you got to do, that's man. A very Going back to church, play the job. keyboard, be in the it'd choir. Be, it'd be crazy of me to ask you and to, to Johnson sacrifice Hood. that entirely and not chase after this dream because law school is a lot that's high school college and some old school some old school <laughs> and so i believe in understanding like hey tonight might not be uh a you night to watch dishes tonight might not be a a, a you night to, to to set up everything for the kids because I, I i'll be honest i can change a tire i have triple a and it works though <laughs> and so i would much rather not now if hey, it's hot hey. in phoenix like i if need be y'all need to be having these damn life uh, conversations at 25 but yeah i believe in i believe in modernity and I believe in, get your like, paper. progressing those roles. Go they don't together. have to be static Fuck like around. they were in the past. Get your okay. paper. Stack up. Okay. Mm, and then we did get a pop. Mm -hmm. Let's head down over here. And get some shit. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Yeah, I'm Key, 28. Uh, I pop just because, uh, you know, she's a law student. Uh, that's a lot of time. You know, I'm, I'm a business owner. Mm -hmm. And so you've been a law student. Like, my time is limited. Your time is going to be limited. That's a lot of school and everything. Trying to build a family and whatnot. Uh, and then also, I mean, you're a pretty woman. Mm -hmm. Just not really, uh, just not too attractive. But, mm -hmm. I mean, you don't look bad at all. No, is he someone that's your type? Um, you look decent, but decent. I mean, like you're decent, like okay. It looked like you tried. Um, 
Hey, that's what's up. All right. <laughs> yeah, you're decent. I think I don't skateboard shoes. Thank you. Right. There's some DCs okay, on. And we did what are you get talking about young flat? Back here. Why did we end up hopping? So, if we look in long term, you know, building a family, I'm a little taller. You know, nothing gets the short queens. I love the short queens. But see, you just look like you're like five foot. Maybe so, like it's a little, you know. So I like I'm like a little taller. I'm a five six, five eight. Got it, got it. <laughs> now is he someone that's your type? Um You look fine, but like for a partner, I'm looking for someone more like I don't know, more dapper. Dapper. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got it. Yeah. I would be putting it on, I ain't gonna lie, like <laughs> I wear a suit, so I just, you know, it's cool though. Okay, got it. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I hate them pants, yeah. Right, so you have two. I left, never copped guys. them shit, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, three. You keep hiding that balloon. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I mean, I don't even All know right, what so brand they is. I ain't left. that cool to wear uh, shit like that. That ain't me. Question. Okay. What are some I'm qualities picking that up my you look kids for school and some shit like that, man? Or going to meet okay. the teachers and that shit. No, sir. Some qualities to look for. Uh, number one's major is respect. Um, I don't care really about the love and everything. Respect comes with honesty, communication, everything else, and stuff like that. If you're going to respect me, you're going to do what's right at the end That's of the day. That's why I ain't got dreams. You know long so, hair, I can't hear to my... Just like a rapper said, try to grow my hair out. I, I got to go to the school to meet the teaching shit. I can't respect. look all raggedy and that. shit. Respect my father, respect my coaches, respect the pastors and shit, respect the homeless people when I go to give stuff out for community service and shit like that. You mm-hmm. feel me? It's just a different thing. Growing up, like, I used to be looked big and shit like that people didn't respect me you know what i'm saying uh-huh. like they overlooked me and shit like so it's something deeper you know what i'm saying yeah mm. um i think he young stole my answer respect <laughs> first but I'll, I'll add to that i also um, think he ain't got someone that, who's you got peaceful. a little zest to him down in I'm the cowboy looking shit just for someone who not as much as i thought my piece because i go through stressful situations and i've got my own stuff going on rich so kid. having a shelter a woman do what she does best, which is be like that peaceful, feminine energy. Mm-hmm. That's what I care most about. Okay. Let's head on over here. Name and age. No, just answer the question. Sure, already got your name. And make it make it show. <laughs> uh, I believe versatility and, that boy allows this, and empathy are, are really important for a partner because I don't, I was talking about modernity earlier. I don't believe in one thing i don't believe in like a, a single track mind i don't believe in somebody not wanting to venture out and be broad and trying to say adventure so that's already yeah. that's already a check but mm-hmm. along with that i need somebody that loves god and not just like oh god is cool woody woody woo but what's your sign no i need somebody that that loves god he's gonna be in the real, church real. and in so the if you don't pit. have that just go ahead yeah but all three all four of those things yeah i'm a believer Hey man, come on yeah. now. You buy. Shiny as hell. Like <laughs> she put all the damn okay, grease up there. It is time to pop a oh. balloon. I can ask another question. No. Nah. Oh. Let's go ahead and pop. <laughs> Why your license plate say Chicken Man? Because that's my name, baby. Chicken Man. Nobody got more juice out here. Hold on. Chicken Man. Chicken Man. Fight night. Chicken Man. <laughs> chicken Man. <laughs> Since I got out that joint, I've been working. I've been working hard to earn your hand as a man. Yeah. All the hustles and the big ideas. I just feel like this is it. Chicken man. You Chicken man. What man is this? Then testify. Me and Dollar Heist. Huh? Meet Waterpix Sensonic me. Care, the number one Heist. recommended water flosser brand, combined with the. <laughs> okay. Where do we end up popping his? I gotta check that movie yeah, out, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Million dollar yeah, heist. Like I like that. I would like a million um, dollars. Can I be million dollar heist? Do you typically like wear this attire or? Uh, genuinely, so I'm from Michigan. I'm a country boy. You know what I'm saying? So quarter right, so heist. I want to go back I to know. the country and shit. But I dab her down like everybody else and shit. But I don't care about society's norms. I look good. I got you know some more coins over here, don't yeah. ah, I? do. Okay, that was really. I just had a attire. pop someone the other day. Oh yeah, damn, yeah. thirty-five cent <laughs> heist. I like your answer. Mom, what's to that million, Is she baby? Someone that's your type. Uh, yes, for sure. Another quarter for me. Like I, I'm a little bit. I want to hear what she's really gonna say and stuff like that. And you know, see if oh how good she's gonna God, articulate she uh, oh, her answers and stuff like that. You see the death in it and stuff like that. Sixty-two cent heist. Did well. Did very well. Oh, thank you. All right, so our two remaining guys. Any questions for our good lady? Yes. Um, what is oh, her? she's asking. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Oh, it's okay. You can ask. <laughs> <laughs> you were ready. Oh. Go for it. Go for it. 
Well, I was going Damn to ask nickel. for you guys' occupations. Okay. Mm-hmm. Occupations. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I own two different media companies, so yeah. making YouTube videos and stuff cent. like that is really the main gig. I'm 77 That's cent heist. Mm-hmm. And then while we're here, any questions say, I do my accountants. I'm like, hold on. I was going to ask, right? what do you think your life's purpose is? My life's purpose. Well, I would say because I'm in law school. Come on, man. Y'all getting boring to, to me, man. I'm playing with goddamn coins over here. And just get them out of the situations that they're in. For instance, instance, I do want to go into criminal law and be a prosecutor or a defender, um, especially within my community in the Cleveland neighborhood. So I just really want to give back. Oh, you from Cleveland? You, is that where you live, Cleveland? Or Yes, I'm from Cleveland. Okay. You, you should, he got the head on. Indians. Uh, Hat. <laughs> but I'm still gonna pipe. Um, I, I gotta pop it. Sorry. Um, cause it's too far for me. Yeah. Where are you from? I live in LA. Oh. Mhm. Okay. Thank you. Let's head on over here. What you doing in the Phoenix area was, trying to get some what, dates? What do you do? And then if you have any questions for her. Look at look at this church uh, boy. I'm a development project manager at Tech. No, he ran track uh, right now. And then question <laughs> I have for you. I was gonna ask something similar <laughs> to purpose, mm-hmm. but. What is something that yeah, your y'all bore me, bro. Two years ago, you. Sh- Thank you. Um, I like that you listen to my answers. Of course. Um, you was only a doing that. Um, but you said like fine, like I spot yeah. you out, and I'm like, ooh, I want him. Yeah. Not necessarily, but you know. Yeah, like, you look my like a mosquito. When I look at the person's personality and how they present themselves, but. Think about me. Like, so like you still looking. find him attractive. Yes, he's attractive. Yeah. Why you look at me like that? Cause you looking for a reason to pop. Nah, nah, I, I'm, I'm a sucker for a middle part now. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, 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 tell you what. He know what the middle part is. But all right, let's go. You good. All right. So then, with that being said, is it gonna be a yes for you? I didn't know what the middle part was. I can see it, what it is and now. Is it a yes for you for him? You said. Oh no, I was. Is it a yes for you for him? Okay, what's what happened? What he ended well, up popping? I just feel like maybe for me it wasn't like an immediate yes, and I feel like when you're in a relationship, you need that like immediate like yeah, like yeah. I want to like pick like your so, shoulders up, nigga. That's why I asked that what was I asked. It. Yeah, yeah, I just the environment. I like, maybe it could progress to that, but not. Just I agree. Initially. I mean, the environment. This environment is made for like stuff yeah, like that. Exactly. I just want you to be sure that this is something that like. You're not mm-hmm. gonna go home two weeks later and go back home and be like, he not really even that cute. Like, yeah. I don't, that's not for Trey. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. You can head back over there. Man. All right. Well, that is all the popped balloons. Get your ass out of here, man. Wasting people on. time. I'll take this mic. And let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. Hey. Yeah, go look that up, man. Go look up Hey Ya by Outcast. <laughs> See him doing that. That's what I hear look like. So, yeah, Andre 3000. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Dorian. Dorian, how old are you? You're that glow really? What the hell? And what do you do? Um, I work for a Fortune 50 um, company as an insurance agent. I also rap. Oh, that's Glow Real Mama. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, uh, I know you see rap. What else do you do? She's like Prometheus. Um, for fun, I like to travel a lot. She has some big I feet. Like you know, she ain't in the my WNBA. Passport. I'm very adventurous, skydiving, yeah, glow. jet skiing, whatever the world brings us. Cuban, no Cuban. Yeah. My shit in layers, ho. <laughs> now, what is. Wow. Damn. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> Y'all don't like to travel? I guess not. <laughs> Now, what are some things you look for in a man? What do I look for in a man? I really like an outgoing guy. I'm a very outgoing person, respectful, um, emotionally intelligent, and I also like a man that makes as much money as me or more. Mm, okay. Exactly. Nice. Get the bag. <laughs> she got George <laughs> Foreman daughter or something, man. She got like a little. A little a lot of... felonies, but the felonies as far as sexual, violent, small penis. <laughs> Deal breaker. <laughs> hey, she knows you won't. So I'm just it. being honest. She wants that thing. She did get a couple pop balloons. That's fine. Let's go ahead and they see gonna my dad didn't pop it. Mm-hmm. She got All a lot right, of your name and age and why you're popping. She got a lot of aggressive on it. Oh, my name is Dante. I'm 25. Her profile. And why'd you pop Dante? Don't don't get on me internet, bro. Um, 
the spots on your stain in your little dress. I you know was in the bag me? drunk, so whatever. Oh, yeah. Hey, you feel me? I it's fine. It's a $300 dress. <laughs> Bitch. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, it's the $300 say, dress. My bad. I got a little makeup on it. Just to show it's like you can paying attention to care and stuff like that. You feel mm. me? You're trying to be presentable. Look at, oh, you got a lot of. Ooh. I mean, Respect that. Pretty. Pretty. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Now, is he someone that's your type? Um, No, I'm not going. Where are you from? From Michigan. He's from Michigan and he has a cowboy hat on. <laughs> no, I can see if he was from Texas or something. I feel like Southern boys wear the cowboy hats. I'm not a big fan of the cowboy hat. She Y'all are so mean. Oh, like I you know, huh? <laughs> Anyways, next. Next. Come on, Glorilla. Name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Go for My name is Ryan. I'm 26. Nice to meet you. Nice she likes Prometheus, mm -hmm. man. She like that. I think you just had an unwelcoming demeanor. And that she, was it. She, we know why. I mean, you know, everybody popped their balloon, so I might as well be honest. I mean, I, I don't want to get into it, but I can understand why you would think I have an unwelcoming demeanor. But you're very handsome, Ryan. I love your dimples, but I'm actually very much a sweetheart. Next. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Name and age and why you ended up popping. Tell her tell she, she had a mm -hmm. sharp nose. Do those skydiving. You know, I'm, I'm scared of heights. Mm. And so I had, I had problems in my past with my last girl. She was tweaking with me because I didn't want to do the little... With the, uh, the Superman thing in Vegas, we then broke up over that. Yeah, oh, okay. it, that was all right. Okay. It was going across and the whole shit. You said your name is Chris. Chris. So you popped my balloon because you don't like skydiving. No, he popped his so you balloon. Like doing adventure stuff, skydiving. He don't like doing adventure stuff. stuff. You can't force this nigga to love uh, you. Roller coasters. I don't do that. I mean, but she asked me what I like to do. She didn't ask you what you like to do. But I mean, I he don't like, like what you like to do. We went on a nice dinner date. You're very handsome. I love That's the right. Balabas's pants. That's why right. you got two ears and one mouth, bitch. I like the outfit. You know, I don't think you. I think you're gonna regret popping your balloon. But I understand. No, yeah, he ain't. Who gonna give us? Uh, Everybody uh, need a woman to get them out their comfort zone. So now, apart you, from you her making me uncomfortable. This big lead chew jaw you got. Yeah, for sure. Okay. And I, I like the demeanor. I ain't gonna lie. Thank you. That ain't a problem with me at all. I like the demeanor. I wouldn't make you skydive. If you said no, I would take no for an answer. She okay. looked like the yeah. logo on his head. On my Instagram, I think I can get you to skydive. She got Big Chief yeah. Wahoo uh -huh. or the damn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that Atlanta Braves? You want that balloon back? She looked like a damn baseball mascot. We don't this balloon back. We not begging. Let's go to the next. Oh, no. We're not begging, <laughs> but he looks like he's feeling you, girl. He looks like cool. he's If you don't want to skydive, I understand, but you got to get out your comfort zone. You got to explore different things. You got to enjoy your life. You young, so. Why does she want? sound like yeah. Dej Loaf? You're good. We gonna move She's on. She's not real whiny. <laughs> Look at All her. All right, your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. Oh yeah, she I'm came for it. I'm 31, mm -hmm. and I popped my balloon because you came out a little aggressive. You feel me? I like femininity. I'm not saying you're not feminine, but your demeanor. Maybe it's the liquor. You feel me? But no. And I think we're from the same city, and I'm mm -mm. not trying to date no women from that. So. Oh, you from Indianapolis? From Indiana. Oh my so. gosh, I love that. So first of all. First of all, how are you gonna have a first of all? She from Naptown acting like that. Damn, what the fuck is this? What side of Indianapolis are you from? From the east side. What part? Uh, Arlington. You from Arlington, like 46? Yeah, 46 in Arlington. All right, shout out to the east side of Indianapolis. Shout out. If you're from Indianapolis, you know why I'm like I am the way I am. I'm from the east side. I mean, aggressive is crazy. Femininity is crazy. I feel like my hair is done, my nails is I'm done. I'm not saying you're not feminine. I said, but you came out a little aggressive. Did I like, cuss? You was on a def defensive mode. No, I think you Nobody got Nobody with no aggressive ass just, bitch. I'm just very, like, this is my personality. I don't feel like I got to tone down for nobody. Nah. But I respect that you want somebody that maybe you can run over. Not like that, but. But you're very handsome. I love the slugs. I'm from Indianapolis. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet I'm you. I'm from too. the east side of Indianapolis. Actually, I'm from. Well, maybe like, we need to link on some friendship shit, though. Friendship? Yeah. I don't think I want to be your friend. You embarrassed me on public YouTube <laughs> with 1.5 million people. But I think that Damn. you go home and then you mention my name, I think that you'll be presently surprised. Like, I can't talk, but anyways, you'll be <laughs> pleasantly surprised. I think you'll actually hit me up after that. Right, well, you're very it. handsome. I love a chocolate man. Love your dreads. You look good. I like the Jordans. 10 out of 10. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go to our next guy. Damn. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. Uh, I'm Trey, 25, and I believe our, our temperaments would clash. Uh, the personalities that we have, uh, I'm not a big fan of, of drunkenness in public or okay. just the idea of it's just <laughs> Ain't it drunk. It's not, I'm not mm -hmm. tagging you with that. I'm just saying that's how it came across at first. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's really it. I believe 
I believe you're actually beautiful. Thank you. What kind of favorite Glorilla? That to me, that's all. Glorilla is crazy. You I do. The first thing dark, I see. I think more like Kelly Rowland, but I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> that's, that's fine as well. Gracias. But but that's really it. I just believe our temperaments will clash. That's okay. all. Okay. Okay. Is he someone that's your type? Who? No, he's not my type. Okay. Why you not? Know, I I just don't think I would like to be out on a nice <coughs> date or skydiving <coughs> with somebody that ha wears pearls. I'm not drunk at all. A little tipsy, you know. They gave us some drinks in the back. So, yes, you are like as I'm drunk. Put together. I feel like I'm they, carrying, hey, carrying myself look. classy. But if that's how you feel, then and that's how you feel. I, I don't like the you. pants. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Top. I think that since you're light skin, you should have worn Our something a little like bit more. Shelf. Less olive. But, okay. But you're handsome, though. Thank you. Love your beard. I love the earrings. She I think the gold beard, looks... Hold on. She called it a beard, y'all. Yeah, I think, I think, for a minute. I think, it's a beard I, now, you feel me? I think yes, that, happen. honestly, opposites attract. So I feel like if you feel like our temperaments would clash, yeah. I feel like you should get a little bit more. Oh, she definitely hide the confidence. pack. I don't know. I this think is, you be doing some I, I think that you should maybe that, that date somebody nasty. that is more out there and get you out your comfort zone. like a slip or something. You. Yeah, Thank you. you're welcome, handsome. Yeah. Let's start over here. Glorilla. Mm -hmm. Your name and age. And they what ask about me in the streets. I'm they so know sad. about me. You know, my name is Nazi. I'm 25 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, I popped my balloon. I just didn't like the going back and forth with people. It's just not for me. That's all. Okay. You're very pretty. You know. Gracias for the compliment. Thank you. I'm not going to say it's going back and forth. Going back and forth sounds more like an argument. I feel As like you, you go guys back and forth. your opinions about me and how you felt. And I feel like I gave you my opinions about y'all. I don't think okay. it's a going back and forth. I think that we're all adults and we should respect, um, respect each other's opinions. So, I mean, if that's how you feel, that that's a red flag to me. Because imagine if we didn't agree on something and I said what I said and you said what you said. Now you feel like I'm going back and forth like a kid. No, it's just we just disagree. But I respect that. I think that's you're very handsome. That's a lot of shit. Hold on. curly. You look good. The tables I like are turning. The tables are turning. My mama. Your mom. <laughs> bless your mom. She's a great mom. It, it's nice. It's well tailored. No, it's real tailored. I like the gold. I like that. You, you look good. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Hey, the jaw though. She got that jaw muscle. Name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon? I really want to know. Uh, yeah, my name is Key. I'm 28. Mm -hmm. Uh, really. She, I don't uh, know, man. Be honest, man. The physical attraction just isn't there. But I was gonna give you a chance. I was gonna hear you out. You know, it's like, I mean, you don't look bad at all. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you, you know, you look pretty good. But then you said you rap. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Cool with that she, and all she, the traveling and stuff. So like the rapping, the traveling. She a fool. Yeah. Just, she a fool. I don't like a busy woman like that. That's too. Doing a little bit she, too much. She, yeah. she okay. weird. That's understandable. The pretty much. We went back and forth almost every dude up here. No. So I feel like we kind of a little argumentative know, a little bit. So like, it I, depends. It meet depends. Water pick sends Sonic complete care. Now you can have the number one recommended. She got a grow on you. Brand. I can see us being out on a date, and you going back and forth with a waiter because something ain't cooked right. Or, like, wow. So you think I d uh, disrespects uh, civilians and people that serve other people and do their job? Oh, these dudes civilians. They're civilians, but they all gave their opinion on me and what they didn't like about me, and I gave my opinion about back. Well, I'm just saying it was real. Like it was, it was pretty strong. You confrontational. Like, I'm not saying you don't have class, but I'm just saying it wasn't. She don't. Classy, like how you. Okay. I'll wait till he's done. It's but, my turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, you go ahead. Okay, physical attraction. So, what's the physical attraction? I would love for you to get in detail. I mean, it's just not like if, if I seen you out in the grocery store in the mall or something. I just like. I mean, if I like see I you at Popeyes, like, approach you like that. What's your type? Yo, goddamn, I'm type, I, mean, yeah, that. I would love what you are physically attracted to, since you're not physically attracted yeah. to me. Which she I'm like not Chief really. I, mean, I like, like, that, I like um, natural hair. Uh huh. Um, like I said, I'm gonna keep it real. It's not so much like be honest. You can be pretty, but like the way you carry yourself can make you. I ain't gonna say ugly, but it can. Yeah, say ugly. ugly. So you felt like I carried myself a, okay, aggressively. A little bit. I, like I said, I don't know if it was the the drinks, but it was. No, this is it, how I okay, am all it, the time. It wasn't pleasant. I say that. It she wasn't humble, pleasant. Man. Do y'all all feel that way? I don't see no blue. I feel like y'all. I feel like y'all intimidated. I feel like I'm a very pleasant person. I feel like I understand the, the host. attraction. The host is about to clutch up pearls. I feel like you're dark skin. Your hair is pretty. You got a nice look your to your, you know, face, whatever. Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate Me personally, I wouldn't put on no Dolce Cabanas because I feel like they played out because I'm into swag or whatever the case Oh, no, Dolce and Cabana. I feel like my attitude is actually very great. I thought I feel it was like a goddamn skating boy shoe, the DC. It's going to be overwhelmed with it's me a DG. supporting his confidence and me building him up. I feel like that if you guys don't like a woman that likes to have a conversation or maybe disagree every once in a while, then y'all should reevaluate reevaluate yourself. Um, also, as far as you saying that I'm the type of person that you feel like if we were outside in a 
waitress or a waiter um, said that I got into wife. it with him or whatever you said. I'm sorry. I was she, kind of listening. Um, I think that wife. is very... Um, I don't, she know can be I don't know how to describe she, it, but I mean, I she, go on five star dinner restaurants all the time. Submissive. People make mistakes. I'm not going to fault anybody or be disrespectful no, because they make mistakes. Shit. But if somebody says something to me, I am going to speak my mind and then dudes. I'm going to give my man a chance to give me their opinion and I'm going to go back. Head on back. Thank you. All right. Oh, great. Well, that is all the balloons popped. She looks stanky dank, though. Thank you for coming on. She looks stank. Give it up for her. Look at her toes. Look at her drunk, ain't she? Okay, girl, you she better walk. Good <laughs> NBA wife or them. Um, Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. To that's it, man. That's it. She make a good football player's wife or something, yo. Um, that was her. That was wild. She was wild. She came out there. She was talking. Going at everybody, man. She started shooting like, y'all can get my pin on me. Let me get my pin on y'all, too. I can talk my shit, too. And she did her, she, her big one. That's what she did. She, um... Would be very proud of herself when she looked back at her episode and she going back like, I, shit, I took shit out of them niggas. That's how she going to feel. But you're left lonely, bitch. You're left lonely. Something about yourself. But anyway, man, that's just me judging. This has been Pop the Balloon or Find Love episode 20. When episode 21 come out, we're going to do the same thing. That's what we like to do over here. We like to judge people. Well, I do. <laughs> Shit, why not, yo? Y'all putting yourself on camera. I'm gonna judge y'all. So, y'all judge me. Look at me. I ain't the most handsome mississist today. I got big teeth. But I love myself. Y'all should love yourself too. Anyway, I go live on the channel every Friday night at 9 p.m. talking about stuff just like this. Y'all gotta come through and not let me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you gotta hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. <clears throat> And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m., man. Come through, join the conversation. This has been Pop the Balloon to Find Love, episode 20. Holla at your boy. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time. But I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.